I want to expand on Cheryl's question just a little bit there, because um, we, we definitely got into the mobile side of this. However, we know from our speak up data, it may seem hard to believe for the panel and for this audience, that there are still many classrooms out there where the teachers don't allow the students to go online during the class, or the school severely prohibits that opportunity. And so I think part of what Cheryl was getting to is a little bit about even just convincing policymakers about just even the value of accessing digital content and having online access as part of an education. So you have any thoughts on, let's, let's assume for a moment, you know, a, a governor, the governors were here, or Congress was here, or the president was here. You know, how, what would be sort of your message about why having access to these type of tools would be, is critical for your education? Well, I feel that having those tools accessible is critical because, like I said, when you're in a traditional school, you're bound to the boundaries of your notebook. You cannot leave those covers. But if you allow your students to be able to go on a computer and research more in depth on a particular topic or subject, I feel they will gain more in their education in their lifetime than people gained 60 years ago when all they had was this one resource. And I feel it's safe to say that people who were learning like 30 years ago would say, I wish we had that technology when I was in school because I could have learned so much more. And I feel I could have gotten a lot more out of my educational experience. Um, I would ask those administrators, those legislators, those important people uh, to imagine a world where kids sought to discover things for themselves. In education, it has been my experience that educators have had to ram content down kids' throats. And you have to beg them and beg them and beg them to pay attention and you cannot engage them at their level. And I would say that more than that, um, imagine a world where you're talking about advanced physics or um, uh, microscopic organisms or outer space or a complicated math equation or some philosopher or writer. If a child or a student was interested in that and they had the ability to immediately learn more, they will employ that. And kids look up things on their devices all the time that they don't know about. Um, that is becoming a primary way that they learn and get information. And if you are able to leverage that in the classroom, um, they'll learn more. Uh, I was in a class, we were talking about the French Revolution and Marie Antoinette, and I, if I would have had to wait till I got home to look up that information, I would never have looked it up. I wouldn't even remember that I was interested in it. But because I could use my mobile device at that point in time, I was able to get that information immediately, and I actually learned something. So I would ask them to imagine a world where kids actually want to learn. You know, that follows what some of the things that we've been hearing from kids for quite a while, um, the self-directed learning, the fact that it drives it. We've actually been calling these students, which all three of these are actually representatives of it, though they don't know it, free agent learners, where they're actually driving their own learning in, the, in a technology-enabled way. We are running out of time. I'm sure that the panel would love to stay if you have some particular questions after that. Please join me in thanking the, our panel of experts here. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize that Aubrey had a point on that. So we're going to let Aubrey talk first, and then you can clap again. <laughs> Okay. Go ahead, Aubrey. I believe that having um, internet and things like that in classroom is very critical for students. But I do not believe that cell phones and smartphones in a classroom is the best way to go about it. I mean, sure, yes, they have their own phones, they can look up whatever, but they can also get sidetracked. Along with being on the internet, getting text messages, it's just a big mess. And I personally believe that in schools coming from a technology school that there should be computers in classrooms where students can go online, do research, and have no cell phones. I just, it's complicated for teachers because as they're trying to talk, the whole entire time the student's just looking down at a phone. You're not actually looking at the teacher, staring at the teacher, and watching what the teacher's doing. 
and that's how yeah. I feel. Thank you very much. <laughs>